In previous videos demonstrating new Teva needles, we covered removing the safety sleeve from the packaging, different insertion techniques, and using the safety sleeve for sports acupuncture techniques. In this segment, I want to go over some additional uses of the safety sleeve. One of those is when needling stomach 35, do B. This point has a number of fibrous tissues overlying it as they reach out to attach to the patella and tibia. Inserting acupuncture needles into this point is tricky as the needle will bend and bow, slowing down your insertion process. Because of this, thicker needles are used to penetrate through these tough tissues. Smooth insertion is important to reduce patient discomfort. With the safety sleeve, you can now use thin to medium gauge needles in this delicate area. Let's take a look at needling this point both with and without the safety sleeve. Okay, so first I'm going to locate the do B point, which is called the calf's nose. And I'm going to use a 32 gauge, 2 inch needle to insert into the point. So I'm going to remove the needle tab. I've already pre-swabbed this point, and I'm going to tap in the needle. And now, as you see, as I try to insert that, it's quite bendy and bowy, and I have to focus it, or I can use a, a cotton swab to help assist it to get it to the point I want to get it. Now, with the safety sleeve, it's a lot easier. I've already pre-swabbed that side, and as you can see, all I have to do is, once I've found the point, place the tube, I slide the sleeve down with my non-needle hand, remove the retainer, and tap in the needle, now I have that clean field around the shaft of the needle and as I drive the needle in it goes in really easy, it's nice and smooth, no hesitation and it's really easy. Doobie is an amazing point and I have personally treated many patients with it and adverted many potential knee surgeries using this point in combination with other clinically relevant points for the knee. That being said, because of the tendinous nature of this region it is more prone to infection as blood supply is limited to these tissues. Using the safety sleeve to support the needle shaft provides clean needle assurance and maximizes patient comfort. I've also been using the safety sleeve in needling of all the points around the base of the skull, including the extra point on the on, gallbladder 20, urinary bladder 10, and governing vessel 16. All of these points are obscured by hair. Have you ever tapped in a needle, removed the insertion tube, and found that you need to move hair away from the needle as you continue to the, uh, insert the needle to the required depth? From a clean needle point of view, once the hair touches the shaft of the needle, it is no longer clean. Watch as I insert a 1.5 inch needle into the feng shi point of gallbladder 20. I'm going to use a 1.5 inch needle, 0.20 or 36 gauge needle, and as you can see here, once I remove the insertion tube, I have lots of hair contaminating the needle. So immediately I've got all this hair surrounding the shafts of the needle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the same procedure with the safety sleeve. I'm going to find the point Place my needle, slide the sleeve down to the surface there, remove the insertion tab, tap in the needle, and now when I've removed the insertion tube, I've got this clean field protecting the shaft of the needle, and I can deliver the needle to the required depth of an inch or half an inch um, into the point. I can either leave the sleeve there, or I can remove the sleeve. Finally, I want to share with you threading using the safety sleeve. Threading requires a very oblique insertion and specific handling of the shaft of the needle once it's penetrated the skin surface to travel horizontally underneath the skin. I'll demonstrate that here on my patient. I will connect UB23 and UB24 along the bladder meridian. Again, I remove the insertion tab, tap in the needle at a 30 degree angle. Then, I move the needle handle to almost being parallel with the surface of the skin while holding the safety sleeve and pinching it a bit to narrow the opening, I push on the handle to deliver the needle on a horizontal plane through the tissues. Here, the safety sleeve becomes invaluable in helping you maintain good control of the needle while connecting the points you need. In the case of threading under scars, the safety sleeves help you deliver the needle through the tough scar tissue with no hesitation or discomfort to your patient. Remember, it is our responsibility to do everything we can to reduce risk. 
As you become familiar with the handling of the safety sleeve, your patients will appreciate the reduced discomfort of dense tissue needling and the extra commitment you've made to reduce risk on their behalf. Thank you for taking the time to view this instructional video. If you've not had a chance to try the table needle, ask one of our authorized dealers for a free sample.